So the plan is, is we're gonna play, we're gonna play dunk cow to get warmed up after we do a few little dunks here, maybe, I guess probably here just so we can get some like fun stuff going. Want a little oopper trouble? Yeah. Oh, in the paint. Bring that back for the kill shot. If I can get that rainbow in, I gotta start a little closer. <laughs> nope. <That's> flexible enough. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. What's he got in store? Done. Degree of difficulty, not very hard, but lefty catch. Oh! <laughs> we'll go two arm windmill. Dominique Wilkins. I'm sure it's gonna look just like his. Oh, probably. Probably better. <laughs> it looked just, it looked just like it. I don't feel very good spinning yet. Nope. Oh, what's happening here? What's happening here? This is about you try. Go Jalen Rose on him. All right, so I'm really not sure how much these weigh. They're actually... Oh, six? Yeah. Five, five, six. five or six, maybe. I took a bunch of the bags out. My plan is, is to try to do some vert work. Um, no step. Try to land. Man, my fingers kind of hurt from dunking so hard. But that honestly, that, that those reps at lower weight, lower lower rim heights is perfect. Now, is this smart? Probably not. But we're about to find out. Yeah. I know before it worked really well. 
It's just like the bands, you take them off, and all of a sudden you're in flight school. I'll go five and we can switch it up. That third rep killed both of us. Yeah, it did really. Good. Oh. Just gonna test it out. Change it up a little bit. Exactly. Five, three, one. Yeah. Just like bench. I mean, it works for your bench press. I'm gonna pause halfway up, halfway down. Ha. Is that not even? No. This is like nine and some change. I just came up in. Tape measure is set. I just got the lock in there. Come on. It's nine too. I'm tired of sticking with this thing. Six with ankle weights on. That shit's fucking live, bro. That puts you at about 198. Yeah. Good oh. Oh, man. I was like right under the ramp. Yeah, and I had a better leverage on the last one. This one I'm not. I didn't, I'm not feeling it. I think because I'm trying too hard. I need to just be explosive and quick. Win. Come on, PR. Come on, Charlie. Oh. Come on. Come on. Fuck. All right. Yeah, I'm good. Five twenty. Yeah. You want to go? No. Yeah. At nine six. Yep. Which you didn't make last week. Or did uh, you make it? Yeah, I made it. Did you make it? I didn't make nine eight. I dunked both 9, 6, 1 and 2 last time for the ball. That's in the, at the office. G, get up! That's a, it's, it's, ah! That one was like easy there. I thought I was taking that one home, so I was like... Come on, G, where's your fucking alley-oop skills at? Trevor, that's beautiful. Like an Amish Chris Paul. Do you hear me, Trey? Don't know. Dunk the basketball. All they had to do was punch it. Yes. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Punch! Oh, 
bench the fucking basketball. In front. Do it like this, right in front. You had it, a couple of them. Yeah, dude, that's, those ones are perfect. Yep, that right there, that's the cash money record. Oh yeah, ready? Punch the ball, G. Throw it now. I think I cut my head up. Actually helped me, you there. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's one right there. Trey, wait! That's the one right there! No, no. Oh, my God. Let's go. I'm not punching it hard, I'm just getting it in. Yeah, that's all you gotta do is get it in. The highly anticipated Jump Bros, episode two. I'm Corey G. It's my boy Tyler Treadway. What's good, Tyler? What's going on? Man, today was fun. Today was great. We fucking looked like a train wreck last week to, compared to this week. Yeah. I didn't get the result that I wanted this week, and I know you didn't either. But you feel but, better, though. But I feel great. Yeah. I feel really good. What do you think about the warm-up? The warm-up was We didn't awesome. really warm up working out a whole bunch. We warmed up, actually, which Jake Turris said, we actually warmed up playing cow dunking yep. at eight and a half. Which was perfect. That was really good to kind of get the timing down. And Our timing the, sucks. It, it was good just to get extra reps. Yeah, what we started talking about was, look, everyone loves the max out, but we weren't really doing volume. So if I look at it like this, I don't. My knees currently don't hurt at nine point nine six. So it's like, why are we? We talked about this. Why aren't we doing more work there? Because you feel the same way. Instead yeah. of going, trying to overreach, and then we're hurt, and then it's like the pattern. Instead of like. We just own nights nine six, yeah, and then we own nine seven eight nine ten, and then indoors we're gonna get one down. Yeah, well, it's like when you when you bench, you don't take, you don't just jump into your your max sets. Like basically, I equate it to we took the bar, yeah, for a little while, and then yeah. our way up in quarters. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, with with the the small jump and playing cow, and that was good to get the extra volume in and get the timing down and get your knees used to... Because, like, the isometrics and everything are great, but it's not really... It's like it's like benching. You can do all the, the skull crushers and the tri, uh, triceps and upper back that you want, but you never... But it ain't get, bench press. It's not bench press. And, <laughs> and the isometrics are great, but they're not jumping. No. And, like you said, when we, we stopped at 9.6, when we went up higher last week, that added in the extra factor of falling... And landing, and, and that's that where was we a, fucked ourselves. That was a different component that we weren't used to, but we're used and to. And the force context. we know, okay, I'm up four inches higher. I got to put more force into the blacktop, yep. which is gonna, you know, it just, yeah, it hurt bad, dude. My shit hurt last week. I'm not gonna lie. Like I, I was here. Trey was like, "Man, your leg really hurt." And it was yeah, going the swing, whole time, swinging your leg. It hurt the whole so time. bad. And like, if I got to be honest with myself, I probably jumped ten minutes longer than I should have today, but yep. because we were right there getting the oop. I felt like I, I was right on the edge of it wasn't hurting. It was just kind of a little bit sore. But now with uh, I'll do some sled work, we'll do some more isometrics. I probably it won't hurt at all tomorrow. No. And last week I didn't hurt my hips. My hips were really achy. Mm -hmm. um, and I had a weird jump at the beginning when we were playing uh, cow, where I got a little bit of impingement in my hip, mm -hmm. but then it kind of went away. Um, but that's going to be the big thing for me maintaining. Do my knees feel great? Yeah. It feels so good. The fucking Jump Bros merch is going to be so hot. It's going to be crazy. I mean, I can't even I can't even contain it. It's going to be dope. <laughs> Trey already knows. Hey, Trey. We're going to be like, Trey, we ain't collabing with you. No. <laughs> we got too much swag for you, Trey. I mean, especially when I go to buy the Cuban links. I mean, it's about it's a to wrap. A fucking wrap. Um, all right. At nine feet. Uh, that felt like effortless. Oh, oh, no, we'll talk about this. Back in the old Mad Ups days, actually, I used to do this at Muscle Farm back in the day. I had ankle weights. I bought it, literally Target, left them there, and I would do, like we talked about, pyramid sets just like we would on bench, yep. but on vertical work around like between 9 and 9.6, and we had ankle weights that weigh roughly, I think those bags are probably two or four, two to three pounds a bag. So it's like between five and six pounds each ankle, and we did five reps at nine feet, three reps at like nine, three, nine, four, and then tried nine sex and couldn't make it, but then took them off. You have the contrast and we were flying. Yeah. Yeah. I was able to punch at nine, six I, with the, with the weights, but it was weird because it was a, it wasn't a matter of me getting up. Yeah. And it was the same for you. And it I wasn't, wasn't hurting when I was landing, no, which was amazing actually. And you it's actually way better than I expected. Yeah, it was great. 
And but we were getting up there. It was just a, a fact of putting the ball in the hoop. Yeah. Um, which I wasn't expecting because the the five and three felt super powerful. I was expecting the nine six to not feel that great, but it felt it felt really good. The three reps felt ser- like I felt like I was le- I was like pushing in to my I was using my knees and like explosive like perfect, and then I couldn't recreate that yep. until I took a step. It's like I held it because sometimes taking a deep a deeper knee bend actually doesn't create more power it's no. that it's that quick burst boom and i felt like it at that at that second height i felt i felt that and i couldn't i couldn't feel it at nine six yeah that second height was like was was perfect yeah because i felt so powerful dunking there it feels it feels crazy to land and not get hurt bro yeah that was great especially on blacktop and then when we took the took the weights away and we're getting up at nine six dude i was hitting like the bottom of my hand i just couldn't put a ball down yeah um which was which is Weird. really strange but yeah. but like you said a lot of times you're jumping too far out yeah I so jump. i think a lot of this and that's why that's why we need more reps bro yeah like we ain't pl- well you played rec ball but i ain't played rec ball or like been in a gym playing hoop in a long time yeah my kids don't play basketball so it's not like something we play they're baseball and either football or other stuff so it's like we're not really out hooping a lot yeah yeah, and the cow was good, but then you're jumping on eight foot, so you can jump a little further away and get away with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so maybe next week we raise the rim just a touch and start. Yeah, to where do we scale from here? What do you think about, you know, I mean, the highly anticipated Jump Bros episode three. three. Where would we go? We were at eight foot on our cow today. Mm-hmm. Maybe eight five. Eight, yeah, like eight and a half, mm-hmm. and then just get it down because I think the closer we can get to creating – the same stimulus is nine six, mm-hmm. nine eight, nine ten. Um, I'd really like to make nine six with the ankle weights next week. Yeah, I feel for like sure. that would be like for a sure. like that would be like a tangible. That two weeks ago, which was last week, I was able to make it standing there, and then if I can make it two weeks later with ankle weights on, that'd be fucking serious. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, I think that's a good a good way to go about it. I think we should do basically, you know, when we do get stacked bench one week we take um like a 10 5 3 1 rep scheme the next week we drop it by doubles instead we should do the same thing we probably. should just do the same thing there um yeah i we'll like s- it we'll start a little bit higher on the cow at like 8 5 because it will still be money there yeah, yeah. still get the good reps um but then we'll work up to with the ankle weights kind of a little bit different rep scheme than we did this week yep and then i think nine six will be will kind of be a wrap when um, we can actually run and take off mm-hmm. i actually think we possess the skill to get there now i just don't think we can i just don't think our body can manufacture it without pain i think when we you add that element to because because we're strong so it's like running and then you got to stop it on a dime and recreate that force that's where the pain's we're, coming yeah, from. We're not there yet. No, but we're close. But it'll happen, and then it's going to be like, oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. I can tell because I remember having pop like this off one or two steps, but I also could run. Like when I was younger, younger, I could also go from like the three-point the three point line, and I just felt like I was floating. Yeah. And I think that that'll, that'll happen again with all this stuff that we're doing. A couple things I changed this week in the gym is I went 185 for three-minute hold at – board number three on here from the angle with the safety squat bar so it didn't hurt my shoulder as much and that definitely helped a ton and I think adding in those um which Trey could probably cut to this but where I just mimic my jump which is here hold dumbbells right in that pattern and it feels like when I'm loading up my body like there's nothing there yeah it really feels effortless I think as I get lighter and those get heavier Gosh, how could that not help? I think that's going to be big when you do the running jump because you're absorbing that force yeah. from that same angle and yeah. then taking off from it. Maybe the maybe the progression on that is you do it and then you drop the weight and hit a jump. Yeah, no, that's what the, I want to. I'm going to start to test things in that move, and also um, doing seated calf raises, <laughs> just basic three sets of twelve, three sets of fifteen, moderately heavy. I think it's also helped a ton with the stopping power. Yep. It's wild, bro. I was doing some stuff this morning that that did you know some calf raises, some seated stuff, and then I was working, um, kind of a a reverse calf raise, mm-hmm. and and that seemed to help because that's that was the area like that front of the shin was getting mm-hmm. a lot of pressure, mm-hmm. and 
and that, like you said, the calf raises kind of work that mm-hmm. unlike any other way that we did. And it's such a simple exercise that everyone forgets about it. Oh. Because nobody's calves really grow, so they just stop doing <laughs> calf raises. And People just give up on calf raises. Yeah, but but they're important for stuff like this. Yeah, um, which from a standpoint, like we get lean enough and do bodybuilding shows, they're going to be there. And we don't really – I do feel them on powerlifting when I'm doing like a heavy deadlift. It gets oh, – yeah. you know what I mean? You could tell a big difference, but – it's not something everybody's like, let's go crush our calves. Well, I remember you talking about back in the day, uh, I think you said your grandfather used to make you do calf raises 150 all the time. every night. Every day. Um, Just stand, standing, because in my trailer, I had this little like step that was like a two by four, but it was the way the trailer was built right into my my living room. And I remember one day he was like, just do 150, 100, 150 of those every night and you, it'll help your jumping a ton. And it did. I mean, I, I could grab the room and I was like five, nine. Yeah. And I think that's, I mean, it's just simple stuff like that, that. It was consistent compounding, though. Yeah. Just like we talk about. We try to get so advanced with, like, oh, let's, let's hold it in this way, this way. It's like, at some point, you just go back to basics and, and get yeah. good at, you know, you don't have to be good at 57 different exercises. You got to no. just master a couple. It's like, that's why, you know, powerlifting is three exercises. Yeah. Um. So if we can get, you know, just some simplicity like that back into the routine it's just easy stuff like that i think will make a big difference i think also dialing in those exact couple exercises you know make the difference for you personally yeah so even when i was watching jake's stuff his is the split leg lunge he likes the you know the squat holds but that's not what got him where he's at yeah so where i think my the squat things for me and they're heavy that's where i need to be so it's like i think you got to start to study all these things around and then you see where, uh, okay, that, you know, you need to try all these things. Then you see where's the pain leave at and where the pain leaves, that's what you got to double down on. Yeah. I just really like the gather feeling like there's nothing there. I mean, I, I haven't felt like that since I was really young. Yeah. Um, that was, it's why it's actually kind of wild. It is. And one of the things that I've been working with Todd is he has, I do like toe walks and then heel walks, mm, super simple, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I'm doing like three sets of 20 and that really, really helps um, with my feet and ankles and, and calves. And I think next week I'm going to focus on the, on those a little bit more. And I'm going to try like an isometric hold from that extended position up on my toes, maybe in like the belt squat. Yeah. Or like kind of like how you're doing, but I'll just do it up on your toes yeah. and try and hold it. Um, And I think those will hopefully pay off well. well. What I started doing too is on the tibialis, I started rolling sideways yeah. and bringing it up this way too. So it hit like even a lower you kind of like a side, yeah, yeah, like a side raise, lateral raise, yeah. But you're hitting kind of the so side. So I'm just trying a bunch of weird shit like that. I tried the isometrics on leg extension. I didn't dislike them, but I don't know that they were like exactly what I needed. But it's like I did the 45-45. There isn't anything right now that's crazy giving me a pump, to be honest. Even even sled, but all of it just feels solid. Yeah. And then today, I just never went past the threshold of the pain of probably about really like a one or two. Where I'm telling you, last week was like eight for me. And the week before, it would always be like a five or six when I would, or maybe even seven. So this is like really encouraging. Yeah, I think before we did like the uh, the hip, uh, the, it really worked my hips was in the leg extensions. Yeah. When we were doing the different position holds. And yeah, yeah. The one minute uh, rep um, just with the top quarter. I think you said Jake was telling you to do that. That helped my hips the mm. next day, kind of pump some blood, and they, mm-hmm. they recovered a lot quicker. Um, but like you said, I didn't really – nothing's really giving me a good pump, but everything is just feeling, like, glued together. And maybe it's a good thing that we're not getting a pump because, like, I don't know. W- like, when you start working out, you're sore all the time. But yeah. now that wouldn't be a good gauge for you no. to have a good workout. Like I sore as fuck all week from the lunges, but – Today was I didn't lunge before we did this. I'm gonna lunge later and probably sweat my nads off. Oh but, yeah, <laughs> so nasty. But overall, I think like this was really encouraging for next week. Yeah, absolutely. I'm excited for We're next week. We're about to be fucking freak shows. Yeah, it's it was really good. Yeah. Anything uh, you want to shout out before we get out of here? Nah, I just you know that constant progress where you know we started this a while ago in like December. We've really like started and stopped it about three times yeah since we've known each other yeah we've always we've been talking about it i i think that's the thing is we're actually committed this time yeah yeah and it's it's really good to have people giving feedback um to say hey you look like a dumbass yeah and it's like it's good to kind of hear that and and know what you can work on um so that constant feedback is Is that from medaya 
No, Medea tells her me. Medea. I, she tells me I suck at everything. So <laughs> Is that her feedback? Yeah. She's like, you'll never be able to dunk. I'm no, like, listen. Just watch. Shout out to all you motherfuckers that that is showing love though, because you might be an older athlete. Yeah. You're you're watching us, and it's inspired. Like we've been, I've been getting some messages. Treadway's got some messages. Like that people are rooting for us. And I tell you, like people around town, that's when I post the stuff on Facebook, they're like, "Gee, I'm watching. I'm hoping. I'm I'm rooting for you." Mm-hmm. Like you know, and with ten weeks to go, I think yeah. we got time. Oh yeah, for sure. Especially I after mean, today, we're two weeks in. Barring setbacks, man, I feel really good. Yeah. No more, like, softball or bowling on the side. Like, they cut that shit out, Treadway. No more bowling, Bob. <laughs> All right. He's Tyler Treadway. I'm Corey G. Jump Rose, episode two. We out. Where's the gold chain at? It's coming.